someone's pouting because he had to move so I could get the shot that I wanted. But I want you to know that I still love you. I love you, Sam. Oh, he's still mad at me. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Tiny Shiny Key, AKA Kim, and I'm here to talk to you about one of my favorite decades. It was a good one. It's the 90s. And we're gonna talk about the perfumes that ruled the 90s. As you can see, I have some of the best ones, well, some of the ones that I remember the best from that time. I was not really a wee babe. I was a kid for most of the 90s, um, but I was also a teen and so, I didn't really have the money to buy a lot of perfumes, um, but I certainly smelled a lot of them in the pages of magazines, and these were the ones that I smelled the most often, and they're the ones that bring back the most memories for me. So let's go through and look at them. First up is Elizabeth Arden's Green Tea. The nose behind this is Francis Kirk Dijon, and it smells like it. You get a blast of citrus at the top. Um, it's beautifully blended and then it settles into this well green tea flavor it, it really smells like green tea with a bit of lemon in it and you know look at this bottle you can't get more 90s than that look at the font on it <laughs> it's extremely 90s um so yeah it's it's got a lot of night vintage appeal to it we'll call it that um, but it is a lovely scent. It is at both delicate and also strong. Um, it smells like a hearty, full mug of tea. You can find it at Marshall's or TJ Maxx for, I mean, I found this for $8 for a big bottle. I don't know how long it's gonna take me to get through this because it actually is not a scent that I love. I love drinking green tea, but I don't really love wearing green tea. Um, it's not really a scent that I'm, I'm actually wearing it right now because I decided to try it out on my skin because I'd only tried it out on my testers and it's just not for me, I think. Um, it doesn't have a great projection from what I can tell and that's fine. People love skin scents, but as I've said in other videos, a little bit of a trail, that's what I love to leave. So this one doesn't really do that for me it is very close to the skin very clean smelling very um tea like because it's green tea not my favorite but it's still a beautiful scent i can appreciate how well blended it is next up we have sunflowers again another elizabeth arden scent um elizabeth arden really ruled the 90s with great great scents in their arsenal and you can smell melon in there and peach to open up. And then it settles in and you can smell a bit of sandalwood, I believe it is. And it's just nice. It's, I, I think there's some Brazilian wood, Brazilian rosewood at the beginning too, um, which gives it not really a fruity, juicy opening, but a calm sort of, it envelopes you in warmth and love kind of uh, feeling. And that's why a lot of people say that this smells like a mom. They call it a mumsy scent on Fragrantica. And I definitely understand what they're saying because it smells like somebody's mother um, for sure. I know that either a teacher wore this or one of my friends wore this back in the 90s because it brings back so many memories of like middle school to me. Um, I, I just, I remember spraying this on for the first time recently and I just, I almost cried. <laughs> I'll be very honest with you. I almost cried because I was just overcome with nostalgia and it might have that effect on you too. If you're a child of the nineties, um, sunflowers beware, it may have a, an emotional effect on you because so many people wore that in the nineties. It was such a, it was such a phenomenon. Um, in the 90s. I, I remember sort of hippie girls at my school, instead of wearing patchouli, they would wear sunflowers because that was more, um, well, it was a better smell, it was a sweeter smell, and you could get it easily because it, it was already in your mom's closet. So they'd wear, you know, their flower skirts and headbands and so on and so forth. 
and walk around wearing smelling of sunflowers and I thought that was really cool and like I said some friend of mine definitely wore this because I just remember it so so well so yeah sunflowers nostalgia in a bottle it's perfect next up is CK1 um, speaking of something that I know very well and that brings back a lot of memories, it's CK1, this um, citrusy bergamot creation is just, I think, one of Calvin Klein's finest perfumes, truly. Um, it's a unisex scent and I, I don't really smell it on many people today. I think it's gone out of fashion finally, but it was something that absolutely ruled the 90s and the early 2000s. Um, I, I remember being on campus and I would smell that wafting past me um, on a regular basis. CK1 was a big one because it was so inexpensive, but it smelled so classy. It had a really nice um, composition, truly. If you can find it somewhere in Again, I found this at Marshall's, TJ Maxx. Um, I think that you can get a giant bottle for something like 28 bucks. This little teeny bottle came with a bunch of little um, Calvin Klein perfumes. Uh, there was Eternity in there and Obsession. Some, some perfumes that I know of and that are very 90s themselves. Um, really, they should all be up here because Calvin Klein ruled the 90s perfume scene. Um, not, you know, among connoisseurs, I'm sure, but among the general public who are just buying perfumes for their loved ones or to wear on an everyday basis, Calvin Klein, man. And finally this, we have Clinique Happy. Um, if you've noticed a pattern with these, you'll know that they all have very citrusy openings. Every single one of these has had either lemon or orange peel or just straight up oranges in in there. I think that the 90s, when I think of a 90s perfume, I always think of a citrusy, juicy opening. And um, Clinique Happy has that. It's very citrusy, it's very bright and cheery. It is happy. And um, I have a little travel size of it that I got along with Happy Heart and Happy in Bloom. And I still think that Clinique Happy, of the, all of the flankers, and there are many, many, many of them now, Clinique Happy still smells the best to me. Um, there's also a Happy for Men that I really quite like and I wanna get for my husband because I think it fits his sunny demeanor really well. But Clinique Happy, to me, smells very much like the, the girls my age of the 90s. So people who were young teenagers in the 90s, they wore Clinique Happy. Um, and Tommy Girl, that's another perfume I don't have on me right now, but Tommy Girl has a very similar profile and um, it's, it smells very 90s to me. Not in the way that it smells dated, by the way, because uh, I know that there are people who still wear this stuff. And they still wear it on a daily basis. They have been for the past however long it's been, almost 30 years. Whew. Yeah, <laughs> it's been a long time and they've been wearing the same perfume. And that's the testament to how good some of these scents are. Um, and I think the Clinique Happy is one of those that you could get away with wearing for a long period of time because it is so just cheerful and citrusy and a friendly perfume. Um, it is what it says on the bottle, much like green tea. If you want to feel happy, if you want to be energized. I think that this is a nice clean scent that has all day wearability. Um, the projection on it isn't anything amazing to me. Um, it leaves an okay trail, nothing spectacular. You're not gonna fill a room with your scent. And for a lot of people, they don't want to. And, and that's fine. But um, yeah, Clean Cappy, great perfume, great scent and it makes me happy. So yeah, that's it for our 90s perfumes. Um, if you were a child of the 90s, if you were a kid or maybe an adult in the 90s, if you were alive for the 90s, comment below and let me know what perfume you remember from that time. What did you wear back then? 
um, what would be your emotional trigger from that time? Um, is it sunflowers like me? Or maybe it's green tea, maybe it's CK1, maybe it's CKB, um, or obsession, or Clinique Happy, or one of the flankers around that. Let me know what, it, what sets you off from the 90s and uh, we can celebrate and maybe shed a few tears in the comments together. All right. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe. It helps my channel so, so much. Um, and also follow me on Instagram. I post a lot of stuff there that I don't really post here, you know, outfits and pictures of my face and stuff like that. Um, I'm tiny shiny key there. So yeah, just check me out and I will talk to you again soon. Thanks. Bye.